and welcome to the Frankfurt Motor Show edition 2017. Its sheer size makes it impossible to show you everything, but we've made a fleet relevant selection of 12 models that will soon find their way to your car policy. As a sign of the times, most of them can be found in the SUV segment. Let's go and have a look. BMW chose Frankfurt to launch the new generation of its DSUV model. In a nutshell, it's an X1 design meets 5 series technology. Its coefficient of drag went down to 0.29, setting a new record in its category. At the same time, the X3 lost some 50 kilos, equally contributing to a better fuel efficiency. Forget MPV, the future is SUV as demonstrated by the Citroën C3 Aircross, the successor to the C3 Picasso. The sliding rear seats and the fold-down front passenger seat nevertheless indicate that it sticks to its family-oriented roots. A child of its time, connectivity and customization are amongst its core values. Never change a winning team seems to have been the motto of Dasho when they were developing the second generation Duster. The result is up to date nonetheless, especially on the inside, with softer materials, a more inspired dashboard and a few centimeters more space. Audi Q3, BMW X1, Mercedes GLA, be warned, there's a new cat loose. The E-Pace is based on Range Rover Evoque, but it promises more agility. There are five turbocharged four-cylinder two-liter engines of the new Ingenium generation to choose from. The dashboard exudes refinement, connectivity and control. With the new Polo, Volkswagen wants to bring golf substance to the city car segment, setting new benchmarks in terms of look and feel, connectivity, practicality, advanced driver assistance systems and convenience. The interior introduces a more youthful style than usual. Petrol, diesel, CNG, the Polo has it all covered. The baby brother of the Skoda Kodiak is a successor to the popular Yeti. It is based on the Volkswagen Tiguan, or Seat Ateca if you prefer, and features a fully digital dashboard and a connected infotainment system with a capacitive touchscreen. With 521 litres with all seats up and 1810 litres with the optional Varioflex seats removed, the boot capacity is simply gigantic. The Tiguan is no longer Volkswagen's smallest SUVs. The brand's crossover portfolio now starts with the long-awaited T-Roc. By the looks of it, Volkswagen latest baby takes quality, fit and finish, safety, practicality and connectivity to unseen levels in the BSUV segment, now dominated by the Renault Capture, Peugeot 2008 and Nissan Juke. If the T-Roc is just too German for you and Latin temper tickles your fancy, then the Seat Arona could be the crossover for you. Thanks to platform sharing, the new urban SUV from Martore has access to such advanced features as active cruise control, AEB City, an anti-multi-crash system and so on. Personalization, connectivity and vivid colors are its trademark characteristics. With this small crossover, Hyundai has the firm intention to gain market share in Europe. Compared to other models of the South Korean car maker, the Kona speaks its own design language. Connectivity is this car's core competence, and therefore the engineers put a lot of effort in the human machine interface. An electric version is expected by 2019. This twin sister of the Hyundai Kona is indeed a key model in Kia's product offensive, as it must attract many new customers to the brand. Demonstrating its ambition to make top technology available to everyone, Kia equips every Stonic with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, while optional advanced driver assistance systems include AEB with pedestrian recognition and forward collision alert. 
the Opel Antara is finally released from duty by the brand new Grandland X, which is based on the Peugeot 3008. The powertrains are 100% French, and so is most of the safety and convenience technology. What distinguishes the Grandland X from its donor are essentially the ergonomic AGR seats, the IntelliLink connectivity systems, and Opel on Star, a suite of connectivity and assistance services. As a builder of premium urban hatchbacks, Mini was bound to become an electric car brand. The first production EV won't roll off the assembly line in Oxford before 2019, but good things come to those who wait, as shown by this electrifying concept car. 